Hi everyone, Alyssa here for AOP Tech on YouTube, and I wanted to give you a look today into the brand new Google Sites. Um, it just launched on our G Suite domain today. Uh, it may or may not have yet rolled out yet for your school domain, but give you a first look in and we can take a look and get some first impressions together. So to get to the new Google Sites, uh, I used the waffle in the top right hand corners or the quilt to get to Google Sites. These are Google Sites that I had previously made with the old editor, but now on my left hand side, you'll see this brand new, new Google Sites, and that's what launched me there. Um, yesterday, this didn't exist, today it does. So if it hasn't rolled out for your domain yet, it should be there soon, but that's a key to look for. Something I've already noticed and really like is that the Google Sites are now hosted and saved in Drive. So here I am in my Drive, and here is my new Google site that I just started playing around with. So it makes it really easy to get to there for teachers. Um, they don't have to take an extra step to go to the Google Sites page. Everything lives and breathes and is held in Drive. So this is the brand new Google Sites. Uh, and it's very clean, it's very modern, and it reminds me a lot of Google Forms. So a few things that I've already played around with and, and noticed, and know that AOP Tech will be hosting some more tutorials and more specifics into editing and utilizing Google Sites. We're just taking a brief overview today. So on the right-hand side is where your main editor is. Uh, up top, you can insert text boxes, embed URLs, um, but know that too, you can pull really nicely and cleanly from Google Drive, um, even a whole folder. You can embed things like YouTube videos or uh, a Google Calendar, which is great for the classroom to put your classroom calendar for both students and parents alike, even a, a Google Map in there, and also pull in very cleanly uh, docs and slides, different elements from your drive. This right-hand editor is also where you add brand new pages. It's this Add Page button. And there's also a place to select different themes. There's a couple really sleek, clean-looking themes here. It looks really professional, and you can play around with the colors or font styles uh, associated with your Google site. Uh, but really clean editing uh, on, on the look and feel of your site. I've already inserted a couple pieces of, uh, of content here on my Google site. Um, the nice thing is that these are drag and drop features, which is so much more user friendly than Google Sites was, in my opinion, before that. So it's great to, to be able to, to do that. You do get a little editor on the side for your sections. You can add in images or delete them. Each content, piece has their own editing tools in there, um, which is great. You can embed links into images. A lot of what you can do in the rest of the Google Suite is now done the exact same way uh, in your new brand new Google Sites. Um, you can even insert, this is a slide presentation and I can set it to autoplay, different things uh, like that. And I just selected slides from the men editor menu on the right hand side, selected the one I wanted and clicked insert. Then I can drag and drop to move things around. So very straightforward, uh, very user friendly. It would be great for student portfolios because I think uh, a lot of times um, with the older Google sites, there was a lot of direct teaching that teachers might need to do in order to get students to feel confident in utilizing Google Sites, I think this is far more intuitive for students as well as teachers. Up along the top, you do have some pieces here. You have your undo and redo button. You have a preview button that launches very similar to the preview in Google Forms, uh, what your live site would look like. So great to check kind of along the way and see what that looks like. You can add in editors, very straightforward. A little more uh, snowman, you can you can utilize Google Analytics if you're using that in your school community uh, for things like tracking hits on a site and whatnot. So it's easy to embed that in if you are utilizing that. Most classroom teachers might not be using that and that's okay, but know that you do have the ability to do so. 
With your big publish button, uh, you can dictate whether that's going to be something, a site that's only available within your domain or to anyone on the web, and whether that can appear in search results. So you have a lot of those same features uh, from the old Google sites. Not a lot of it has gone away, um, but it's in a much more direct, user-friendly format there. So I hope that as it starts to roll out to your different domains, you take advantage of these brand new Google Sites. I think if you've tried Google Sites in the past and you've felt a little overwhelmed by Google Sites or frustrated, already I'm having a much, myself, having a much easier time navigating and inserting things uh, and making my Google Site look the way I want it to look. As always, feel free to subscribe to AOP Tech on YouTube, and you can follow us as well on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram for all the latest G Suite updates, as well as all things EdTech. Our resource website is aoptech.weebly.com, and reach out to me if you need anything uh, on that G Suite updates or all things EdTech, iPads, Chromebooks, etc. Uh, AOP Tech is here to help you with that. Have a great day.